the history of the ancient ram is that it was built on a pagan worshipping site. Um, it was built, I believe, to house the stonemasons that built the church. And the church obviously was put on the pagan worshipping site. They did that many years ago to encourage the pag pagans to worship Christianity and go to church. It's the oldest building in Wootton and Edge, and um, it's an historic monument. It's a Grade Two star listed building, and um, it needs to be visited by people. They need to come and explore the atmosphere because its history is amazing. We invited Archaeoscan here today because um, there is an ancient grave that remained open from when my dad owned the place. And I was hoping to find out a little bit more history about the ram and the original date it was built. Uh, we've got the deeds, as I said, going back to 1350, but I do believe it's a lot older than that. It's a little wet. Um, unfortunately, this time of year, the water table is quite high. So we've managed to re-establish where John had actually dug. So we found his holes, his uh, excavation, but the water table is quite high. So in answer the high clay content of the soil here, we're getting quite wet and muddy, as you can see. We may not be able to fully uh, validate his, the, complete, the, the entirety of his hole um, because of the water, unfortunately. We can tell some of the structure of the building because, of course, we're re-exploiting a hole that's already been put in the floor. So we can already see there are different layers of the medieval makeup of the, of the floor. So we've got a um, clay and stone raft that's been put down initially for the building to be built on and that's acted like um, a, a damp course in, in fact it's actually stopped the water coming up which is um, very effective and on top of that then you've got the wooden beams and then a number of different floor levels that we can see so we're able to record that archaeologically so all is not uh, lost in terms of the excavation. I'm entitled to some grants apparently I've spoken to an architect and um, I need to involve the community more in order to obtain the grants, which isn't a problem and is something I would welcome. And uh, any input or any feedback from the general public about what they'd like me to do with this property would be more than welcome.